What is up, YouTube? Hope you all are having a great day. So, this might be the last video I ever make, so be sure to watch till the end, leave a thumbs up, just for, just for old time's sake, you know, I, I might not make it through this one. Today, my game plan is there's a toxic algae bloom at a local lake around here, and they say you're not supposed to eat it, you're not supposed to, well, you're not supposed to eat the lake, you're not supposed to eat the fish out of the lake, you're not supposed to swim in the lake, you're not supposed to even fish at the lake. So, I'm going to go debunk that or not debunk that and potentially be sick and go to the hospital or something, but hopefully that doesn't happen. So, I'm going to head out to the lake, I'm going to try to catch one of these toxic algae fish, and I'm going to eat it. And I'm going to see if I can get my girlfriend to eat it too, so she's she'll probably be down. She's, she's down, she's down. But I'm going to try my best to uh, catch a channel, because um, I feel like if any fish is going to be kind of uh, gross from a to toxic algae bloom, it would be a catfish. The bluegills and the crappie are probably fine, but I'm gonna go out and try to catch a catfish. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna bring you along for the whole ride. Hope you enjoy it. Come with me. Let's do this. Bag it and tag it. Let's go. All right. So I literally went to every freaking grocery store in the area trying to find livers that weren't frozen solid. Just because I've had issues trying to catch actually small catfish, which sounds ridiculous, but it's true. And yeah, I couldn't find any. Comment down below if you've had that same problem. We'll just use my shirt as a carry-in case. Seems legit. Stay tuned. This should get interesting. From the shirt to the bucket. Let's get you guys some purified water. Get you out of that algae for your last little breaths. So thoughtful. All right, <clears throat> so this is pretty easy to do. Two poles, getting a little fancy with it, throwing out barbers. We've got our bait fish, we got a knife. And since I don't think I'm gonna go through all my bait, and I don't wanna be wasteful, I also have a basket. Even though it's super toxic algae, I'm gonna dump our little buddies in the water right here, even though they don't look like they're doing very hot. Jeez, they died quick. All right, well, maybe some of them will come back to life. All right, so we're running slip bobbers. Four and patrolling through the weeds. I'm gonna put them down, I'm gonna vary a little bit, but I'm gonna put them down a couple feet. Give them a nice little lob out there, and not that far. Let's redo that. We're gonna give said bobber with bait a little lob into the weeds. That should be about the perfect depth. Sitting right on the edge there. Let's go up here. And we'll let that one sit right there. That one in the weeds is definitely gonna sit in place. This one might get pushed around a lot, so. Now we wait, got a couple hours of daylight left. Um, so hopefully I can get home in time to clean some of these with some daylight. That'd be ideal. So gonna, I'm going to go get my uh, lawn chair in typical uh, city park pier fashion. I'm going to sit on my ass and might take a nap. That's the plan. Stay tuned. This could be the last video I ever make according to the news. Nap time. Yeah. All right, so the camera died, but we got ourselves a kitty in the city park. It's a little big, but might be our only one, so we're going to keep Bless the fish. You're gonna bless it? Go bless, Go bless it. it. Bless it. I'm gonna eat it. Who's gonna hold it? You gonna put your hand in its mouth? It won't bite you. It, it, it won't bite you. I'm scared of it. I'm scared of it. You just gotta put your hand in its mouth. Don't 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 those things like lunch or something? No. These things will poke you when they're smaller, but yeah. How do you feel? You're gonna touch it? It's slimy. 
I don't think it's you. No, oh, I don't know if he liked you or didn't like you. <laughs> okay, so not only is this thing from a crusty lake that supposedly has a bad algae bloom, it's also just looking crusty because it's been sitting here for a few hours. But it's been sitting in the water, so I don't think I'm going to die, but uh, yeah. Alright, so take everything that I do with a grain of salt, because I'm definitely not an expert at cleaning channel cats, but I always start with a cut on the side, flip to the belly, and you're one just going to cut down the back, get to about the anal fin there, straight down, and out. Still got a slime coat. A little slimier and shit. Now you're just gonna wanna cut and peel the meat away from said rib cage. So I never said this was going to be pretty. And then start working down. Sometimes you get his pulls get off like that. Alright, there's filet number one. It is horrible looking. And it's shape. And it's color, really. Oh, God. It smells like weeds. Alright. There's filet number two. I'll add some music and stuff, man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Alright, we need some vegetable oil. Jesus. Oh, gotta get it submerged, you know? <laughs> um, we need zucchinis. Always essential for cooking up uh, gross fish from a city lake. Gotta get our oil heating up. Gotta get the cat out of here. We got our questionable at best. Catfish fillets soaking in Mountain Dew. I read that somewhere. I don't know why the hell I do it, but it's citrusy and uh, it starts bubbling when you put it in there. And to me, it makes it seem cleaner. So, got that sitting in Mountain Dew. We got milk and eggs. We are out of the shore lunch Cajun, so we're gonna have to deal with the uh, Andes Cajun, which is spicy as all holy hell. <laughs> it really is. So we're going to have to dole it down with some, with some flour <clears throat> so I don't die. But you know what? The spiciness of that might actually make it taste somewhat. All right, stay tuned. We'll drop them in, cook them up, and then she's going to eat them. I'm not. Right? No. No. I guess I'm going to eat them. She is too? No. Maybe. Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Might get her to take a bite. Might give some to the cat. Kitty. Ow. Ow, Jesus. Drop a couple in there. Give her the old shaker ruski. Should do a dance with it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. Head on over to our cooking station where we might die. Oil. Oh yeah, I'm talking about that fire, fam. Look at it vibrating. It's like shaking the whole thing. <laughs> it's like, ah, radioactive! <laughs> we're gonna keep doing that, and then we're gonna eat it. Might be, uh, the last time you see us. Great! Great! <laughs> Great! Got a nice golden brown little hue going on to him. Not really, it's kind of like a poop brown. But I like it, I like it crispy, so. I like my algae infested fish crispy. Put a little salty, wow. salty I bet that there. makes such a difference. I bet it does. Right. You ready for this? I'm gonna have this nice little, little flat guy. Yeah. You think there's less algae? It doesn't look great, yeah, but it doesn't it look brown. Terrible. On the inside, I do that one. Alrighty. Um, I mean, it actually looks kind of good. 
Who's going first, man? <laughs> oh god, that was not good at all. Holy shit, I'll play. Let's try one of these thicker pieces. Maybe this is. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I mean, it looks better though. I'm gonna try the fried one. The okay. crispy one. Why is it so crispy? That isn't good at all. You like it? Questionable. Not good. Not good. All right, so a little recap. Well, basically that is exactly what you don't want to do for a catch and cook. First of all, the city park was a disaster to start with. There's people everywhere doing crazy hood rat things and the crazy hood rat things. It was, it was, it was a sight to see for sure. Brought me back to my high school days. But yeah, the fish, I'd give it about a two out of ten. Maybe a one out of ten. It is not good. It, uh, I don't think the algae really was the problem though. I feel like we could have ate it if it even tasted good um, and not died. Um, we could probably eat a lot of it. And first catch and cook went terribly so um plan on doing a lot more uh in the ice fishing season when the water's colder and the fish tastes better but figured i'd try it in the midsummer just to uh get it done and over with but if you like this video or if you hated this video go down and leave a comment on uh what you would have done differently i'm sure there's some opinions out there on what uh what i should have done but uh basically it was pretty much a bad idea but anyway, if you like this video, head on down. Thanks for watching. Um, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Do all that stuff. Um, definitely appreciate. Definitely appreciate the support. So, till next time, I'm gonna go puke and I'm gonna eat some real breakfast, probably from Village Inn. So, we're going to Village Inn. Okay, I'm out. Bye.